Dali, a Singapore flagged vessel, ploughed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge shortly after departing the port of Baltimore. Authorities said despite the ship's mayday call, the road repair crew remained on the bridge with its vehicles parked on the span. Two construction workers were rescued from the water and one went to the hospital. The six who were lost have been presumed dead. Authorities have officially ended their search. All crew members aboard the Dali were accounted for and safe, the ship's owners said, and there were no injuries on board. The Dali had left Baltimore at 1 a.m. and was bound for Colombo, Sri Lanka. The Dali, a nearly 1,000 feet long container ship while leaving the port of Baltimore, lost power and issued a mayday call just before hitting a pillar of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, causing it to collapse. Most of the lights of the ship went dark abruptly just over two minutes before the ship hit the bridge. As per a New York Times report, an inspection of the Dali last year in Chile revealed a deficiency related to its propulsion and auxiliary machinery. The inspection conducted on the 27th of June at the port of San Antonio specified the deficiency concerned gauges and thermometers. A spokesperson for the Dali's owners declined to comment on the report. So what has happened so far in the aftermath of this accident? All 22 members of the cargo ship's crew hailing from India are safe and uninjured. The vessel's operator, Synergy Marine Group, has confirmed no pollution has occurred. Meanwhile, US automakers General Motors and Ford have announced plans to reroute affected shipments following the bridge collapse at the port of Baltimore. Meanwhile, U.S. automakers General Motors and Ford have announced plans to reroute the affected shipments following the bridge collapse at the port of Baltimore. Despite the disruption, both companies anticipate minimal impact. President Joe Biden has pledged federal support for the entire cost of reconstruction of the bridge, stating his intention to visit Baltimore as soon as possible. The Port of Baltimore, a crucial hub for car shipments, handles over 750,000 vehicles annually, making it the busiest U.S. port for such imports. The Francis Scott Key Bridge, named after the writer of the U.S. national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, has been a vital transport artery since its opening in 1977.